fucking top, biatch. Hey everyone, welcome to or welcome back to the Bikini Baker. Hello, it's been a while. I hope you missed me. I hope you didn't miss me too much that you're gone. <laughs> Hello, welcome. I'm super excited to be here. Uh, it's been a couple, I don't know, it's been like a whirlwind the last couple months, but I am back. So thank you so much for being here today. This is my, let's talk about my outfit real quick. So this bikini is from Sherry Lowe. It's actually a two piece sling. So here's the micro bikini top. And then right here with the little suspender looking things is actually the bottom. Um, but the bottom just rides up all the time and I really want to focus on baking. So we paired them with these like hot shorts. I think they're cute, right? They're cute. Plus I gotta be a little conservative a little bit because my mom is watching this video. Hello mom. Thank you for always being so supportive. Um, this was my mom's idea for this recipe so today we are going to be making the um some classic chocolate chip cookies uh this recipe is right in my childhood and i grew up making it with my little cousin i grew up making them with my mom at the cottage i actually had to buy this cookbook off of thrift books because she would not give me this cookbook uh, it is called the children's cottage cookie book um it is about can you I think it's blurry. There we go. Um, yeah, so I got this on thrift books for like five dollars. Uh, I'll try to link the actual like thrift book cookbook in the description box below. If not, I do plan on actually um, like writing this out for y'all so that y'all. Oh, I haven't lived in the south for. We're just taking it on. It's fine. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna write this like all out for you so that you can kind of follow along because I have actually had some people who have done these recipes so thank you so much but yeah so we're gonna make ch classic chocolate chip cookies don't mind I have flour on me already I was working on the supporter video uh if you want to check that out da -da 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 -da. Ch I'm like editor fancy editor is gonna put like something right here um because in order to bring these videos back I cannot edit them myself so that is okay we are here uh, so let's talk about what we're gonna need. It's been a while since I've done this, so I gotta like get in the flow. You know, we gotta get in the kitchen. Okay, so we are, and I do have so many things back here too because I'm gonna try to content batch and like film multiple things today. We'll see. Now, I just is very excited for these chocolate chip cookies. So you are going to need um okay well first of all we're making this dairy free and gluten free and that's just my preference i've never made them this way so we're gonna see how they turn out um but you're going to need butter or we're using uh country crock plant butter i swear by this it tastes just like real butter anyways it's a little bit better for you and um yeah that's just what we use in this house so butter uh, shortening which says gluten-free right on the package um, granulated sugar so just regular sugar brown sugar we got going on you're going to need two eggs um, I don't know if I said gluten I said gluten-free and dairy-free or if I said gluten-free and vegan but I definitely meant dairy-free because they're not vegan because we're using eggs um, you could make them technically you could make them vegan you instead of using eggs I think it's you use bananas I don't know, I'm not vegan, um, I'm just dairy free and sometimes recipes are vegan, but that's neither here nor it there. Uh, vanilla or vanilla extract, baking soda, salt, all purpose flour. We have gluten free flour, it's just measure for measure so I don't have to do any math. Um, one cup of chopped walnuts or pecans, if you want. We've never done this growing up uh, cause we're just, I don't know, not a super nut family. Uh, and then two cups of chocolate chips and I was able to find my bestie told me about these because I was just going to suffer. Um, Garadelli's Premium Baking, they have non-dairy non chocolate chips. Uh, so I'm really excited for these. I didn't even look at the ingredients to make sure there was no sunflower oil in here. We're good. Okay, we're good. We have non-dairy. Oh, it's very like asmr -y. <laughs> Non-dairy chocolate chips. And yeah, that's kind of like all we need for this. It does say like all recipes are always like preheat your oven. I don't preheat the oven because then 
I feel like there's so much pressure there to like get done, to get all this done before the oven goes off. So we're just not gonna mess with that. Um, I do have a baking sheet and some aluminum foil because I couldn't find, um, was it parchment paper? Wax paper? No, you don't put wax paper in the oven. Parchment paper. So we're just gonna use foil, although I did buy a new nonstick pan, so maybe we'll just try that out. But yeah, okay, so here we go. Oh, also I'll link this Sherry Low uh, bikini in the description box below as well. So you are going to need a bowl and a large bowl cream butter and shortening. So we need a half a cup of butter and a half a cup of shortening. And my mom, I remember I tried to make this and I was creaming it with just like a spatula and she was like, you have to use a blender. And I was like, okay, so we're, we have a hand mixer mom. Okay. It's okay. Um, so I did take this out this morning. Uh, I just wanted it softened a little bit and uh yeah i just took it out this morning made my coffee put my makeup on and all that good stuff so the stick i think should say half a cup of butter oh i guess you need a knife whoopsies whoopsies i try really hard to be um to be prepared so we need a half a cup of butter oh So one stick of butter is a half a cup of butter, according to this. We're, we're putting a whole stick of butter in here? All right, we're putting a whole stick of butter in here. Let's go. It's fake butter, so I'll just keep on telling myself that. No judgment to anyone who uses regular butter. I just will get very sick. So we're just gonna put that to the side and then we're gonna need a half a cup of shortening. Also, I'm gonna play with my hair and all that stuff. Is it sanitary? Ab sanitary? Absolutely not. Is it just three of us eating these cookies? Absolutely. Do I care? Like honestly, there's gonna be frost hair in here. It's gonna be fine. So we need a half a cup of shortening, which is also conveniently half of this. I like it when I could have got like the tub and what have you but like honestly I just really didn't want to like mess with that like I would rather just now okay hold on half a cup is eight tablespoons one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight all right it's just weird because like the half a cup mark or shortening is not like it's not it's not and it's, it's it's not even but we're just we're just gonna we're just we're just doing it we're just doing it if i start thinking about it too much i'm gonna have anxiety i don't know if anyone else has anxiety baking but i do and i really wanna i never used to i really loved baking as a kid like i said this is a childhood memory right here this recipe um, maybe have anxiety because my mom was watching. Okay, so we have the shortening in the butter. So we are going to beat it up. Sorry, we're gonna cream it up actually. I wanna try like doing multiple like angles and stuff. So we'll see how that works. But for now, we're just gonna actually plug it in. Figure that out and cream them together okay, so we're just gonna kind of um, so you don't want me countertops messy we're gonna use one of these things and just kind of set it down and yes mom i did unplug it because i'm not using it because we're a very paranoid family <laughs> okay so we have creamed the butter and shortening and i'm just gonna kind of like scrape the bowl a little bit to like push it all down like a so and then we're gonna ah, we're gonna kind of like put this here I'm trying not to like dirty up my countertop it's a very difficult process on keeping the kitchen clean okay so the next thing we're gonna do is add the sugars gradually add the sugars okay so I remember getting yelled at this for last time what you're supposed to do 
is gradually add them. What I do, I mean, I gradually add them. I'm just gonna add like the regular sugar first, beat it around, and then add the brown sugar and then beat it around. That's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna add one cup of regular sugar. I'm very glad I ended up going to the store to get more sugar because I definitely would not have enough for the other March recipes. If you stick around for the month of March, you are going to be seeing the following recipes. Chocolate chip cookies. Uh, dog biscuits for my baby. Um, you're also going to be seeing whoopie pies for pie day. And um, I got like a schoolgirl skirt vibe outfit thing going on for that. And then I'm going to be, I'm going to attempt to make Irish soda bread for St. Patrick's Day. And I have like a cute little like sexy costume for that. So we're trying to do some theming. And yeah, I will have guests at some point too. I want to try to do that. Especially because, well, Nidus has to learn how to cook, but I want to have other guests as well. But she really does need to learn how to cook. So we have one cup of sugar. You know what? My mom's watching. I'm going to do half a cup, beat it up do a half a cup, beat it up, and then add the half a cup of brown sugar. So with the magic of editing, that's all going to be done. Okay, so we are back. We are creamy. We are, what are we doing? Beat in the egg. So we need two eggs. Ooh, I hope I have, I hope I have enough eggs for everything else. I didn't know that I only had six eggs. Oh my goodness. Eggs are very expensive here in Florida. I don't know how much they are where you all are at, but they are very, very expensive. Normally we go to a farm though, um, to just, you know, like shop local and all that good stuff. But um, I did not have the time, so I had to go to the grocery store and these eggs are like darn well $8. So we are, what are we doing? We are beating in the eggs, vanilla, baking soda, and salt. So we have two eggs. We need two teaspoons of vanilla. Don't mess this up and accidentally use tablespoons because I've done that before. And whoops, how many do we need? We need two teaspoons. Okay, so one. I've also forgot vanilla many a times, especially when I make my mom's banana bread. You know how many times I had to like run to add it like while it's kind of baking um so we need one teaspoon of baking soda i'm just going to use this because this one's dry so this i'm going to use two of because it's a half baking soda then we're going to add a half teaspoon of salt my dad swears that we should take salt out of every, like all the baking but like i said i have to do this I feel like we added salt when I was a kid, like growing up. And like, I'm already messing up the recipe by doing gluten-free flour and like dairy-free butter. So we're, tr we're trying to stick to the thing. So, all right, we have added all of that. I should have take, taken this out before I added like all the eggs and stuff. And we're gonna beat this and then the rest is just stirring in things. So this is gonna be the last time that we use a hand mixer. Uh, this I got from Goodwill. Like definitely check your thrift store if you're just getting into baking. That's where I got my sheet pans from, my mixer. Uh, I do have like a big old like, a uh, big old KitchenAid, but trying to like film that, like I don't, uh, it's difficult. So we're just using a hand mixer. You can also get hand mixers off of Amazon, I assume. So I don't know, definitely check your local thrift store and let's beat them eggies. <laughs> I'm getting very emotionally excited for these cookies. Okay, so we pop those out. Oh, I did not mean to like put them into the bowl. We do not leak, 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 leak. We do not lick the beater bars. We don't do that here. We don't do that on this channel. Unless it's just like strictly chocolate, then like we're going to, but. Um, and then we are going to start in the flour. So I need two cups of, uh, it says whole wheat or all purpose. Like I said, we're using gluten free, because we're gluten free in this house. Not fully gluten free, but um, I have a gluten intolerance and I'm at high risk for celiac. So I try not to make my stomach angry at me. 
It's very annoying because I really just want to be able to eat what I want, you know? I need one of those thingies that like, you know those fancy things? Okay, so what did I need? Two cups, so there is one. Also, gluten-free flour, hella expensive. Oh my goodness, I spent so much on this. Well, this I didn't spend a lot on. This one that I'm, this, I got a little bit left in here, but this other bag of gluten-free flour was like $10, what? So a huge shout out to all my supporters who are supporting this <laughs> video and channel because your support goes to things like this because, and $8 eggs, so thank you. <laughs> Um, okay, so we are just going to hand stir in this flour and with the magic of editing, I'm just gonna be like, well, bam, ta-da! I don't know if I was like, snap this way or snap this way. I should have paid better attention. But anyways, here is my flour is mixed in. It does take a lot of time and let me tell you, I literally look like a gremlin like trying to mix it. Um, so then the next thing you're going to need is if you wanted your nuts, you're gonna do a couple, a, one cup of chopped walnuts or pecans, and we don't do that here, so we're just gonna add two cups of chalky chips. I really hope these non-dairy chips are good. Garrett Jelly is like superior, so. All right, we gotta fold these in. Here we go, was it? Two cups? Oh my gosh, these are so good. Mm. Okay. One. I feel like that probably summoned my dog because it kind of sounds like it's food bowl. Well, Ghirardelli's chocolate chips is about a cup and three quarters, but they're like big, like chocolate chips. So it'll be fine. I gotta stop eating them though. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay. So I fold it in. You gotta be a nice and delicate. That's what my mom used to tell me. Tell me. And when I was young and I couldn't like, we're just going down memory lane. But I remember like baking in general when I was young and I like, I'd be like, mom, I like can't do it. Like it's too hard. She'd like stand behind me and like put her hand on my hand and like mix this around. And I don't know. It's a good memory. I love my mama. <sighs> awkward moment of silence. This real living childhood. I actually, my mom is really excited that I am making these, so. Okay, so we have folded our chalky chips in. This is like a lot of dough. I maybe should have cut the recipe in half, but these freeze well, so. But yeah, here is the mix. I'm really excited. Like, it's just such a special, special recipe. I'm so excited to share it with y'all. Okay, so um, it says preheat oven to 375. We've always done 350, so we're just gonna do it at 350. It says to bake a test cookie. We ain't doing that. We never have. Um, drop dough from a teaspoon onto lightly greased cookie sheet with your hands flat and cookie slightly and smooth edges to give an even amount of thickness. We're gonna use a cookie scoop and we're gonna scoop it push it down, flatten it, and we should be good. Um, and then for a soft, chewy cookie, I just I just lost my spot. Oh, give it extra, you want a thickness of about a half an inch, which is one centimeter. Uh, for a soft, chewy cookie, you bake for eight minutes until cookies are golden brown around the edges and slightly underbaked in the center. And then you're gonna remove and then you're, they're gonna stand for like five minutes so they're gonna like continue to cook. So it's a really fast baking. Um, and then transfer to cooling rack, which I don't have, but we will definitely figure it out. So I do have, um, I did buy foil, but I think I'm just gonna do the old fashioned way. This is my new non-stick pan. I'm just gonna spray it like a little bit of like oil little, I don't know, this is just Pam olive oil. Um, and then my mom's probably like, this cookie scoop is bigger than a teaspoon, but we're just gonna try, we're gonna try, we're gonna test it out. 
we're going to take this and kind of like scrape it off so we got one. And we're going to pop it down. Oh, that popped down like way. That popped down where, where it was not supposed to pop down. Okay, hold on. Pop down. And then ugh, my eggs are in the way. What do I got to do? With your hands, flatten the cookie slightly. With my hands, okay. I'm gonna need flour. That'll make my hands unsticky, right guys? Okay. There's barely any flour in here, so we're just gonna... This is now the cookie flattened flour. Okay, that looks like half an inch. Right? Okay, so now we're just gonna do this a bazillion times to get two cookie sheets going, and I'm gonna show you that in a second. <laughs> we are we are back. I have made cookies. Well, I put them on like the greased pan or whatever. Um, I will say a tip that I remembered as I was going through this. If you chill the dough for like a minute, uh, like in the fridge or whatever, or freezer, it, in the, it makes it easier to, to like push down. I'm kind of worried that they're gonna cook into each other, but It'll be okay, we'll know for like next time because this is my first time using a cookie scoop, which I absolutely love. So yeah, here are my cookies on a pan. I do have quite a bit of dough left over, so I'll probably be able to do two more sheets. Um, but yeah, let's put these in the oven. Like I said, eight minutes if you want. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Like the chewy cookies, that's the word I'm looking for. In 11 minutes if you want them like a crisp cookie. We do the chewy cookies in here so we're putting them in for eight minutes on 350 it might take a little bit longer uh everyone's oven and stove is different mine just cooks a little hot so we're doing it on 350 and then with the magic of editing you're gonna have cookies okay all right so the cookies are out of the oven i was right they did kind of like grow into each other but because these are such a soft chocolate chip cookie, I just took the spatula and it was like easy, it was really easy to break them apart. Um, now, these ones are the five minutes after the oven. Can you see these ones? Oh, oh you can't, okay. Um, these ones have been out of the oven a little bit longer. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I already, I already taste tested, but we're just gonna grab one. Look how, you know, actually, you know what? We're just going to grab a whole new one. Ooh, okay. So, look, if they're, like, literally already falling apart, they are the softest cookie. They are so good. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. It was, like, right in the childhood. It's so good. Mmm. I haven't made these since like, I don't know, before high school. I don't know why I stopped baking, but I'm very happy to be back. Um, like in general, I don't know, like I stopped baking for years and years and years, obviously. Um, but yeah, anyways, whew, we're not getting emotional. Thank you so much for watching me make a classic chocolate chip cookies from my childhood. Once again, I will put the recipe down below in case you wanted to follow along if you make them please let me know um and why don't you comment below just you know you gotta get algorithms going uh comment below what your favorite cookie is i honestly would love to know maybe i can make them for you one day thank you so much for watching a huge shout out to all my supporters thank you so much you are amazing you are what you're what keeps these videos going and we're gonna keep them going so um we are going to make the I got this much more to kind of put in the oven. I got to clean up the kitchen a little bit, and then I'll be going on to the next video. Outfit change, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you next week. <sighs> you guys, these are so good. <laughs>